When your AC stops working, just call the experts at KS Services Heating and Air. They're fast and affordable. Right now, purchase any Bryant Energy Efficient System and save with 0% interest for 60 months with approved credit. It comes included with a five-year labor warranty. And our fair price guarantee means that we will always give you three quotes for every situation. A good, better, and best. Call KS Services Heating and Air today. We roll on whatever it takes. This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, October the 14th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks so much for tuning in. Our satellite image this morning shows that we're kind of split across the southeastern U.S. Uh, Georgia and the Carolinas have some low clouds, which are very hard to see on the infrared picture because they're taking on the temperature basically of the ground. But we have clear skies over uh, Alabama and off to the west. We're watching a frontal system off to our northwest that is expected to move through here Sunday afternoon and evening and into early Monday morning. Should be out of the state by around daybreak on uh, Monday morning, but the high pressure will keep us in uh, good weather today. Aloft, we have an upper ridge that will be changing over the next uh, several days as, as a very strong trough comes out of the western U.S. I don't think there's too much trouble identifying where the cold air is across the country. We don't really have any cold air in the southeastern U.S. just yet, but that will be changing Monday as temperatures for highs will struggle to get into the lower 70s. But this morning, we're in the lower 70s across much of the area. I noticed that uh, Tuscaloosa is kind of a cool spot with 68. Watch warning map is fairly uh, inactive. We do have a lot of uh, uh, dry weather in California. And uh, the, the dark blues you see are uh, uh, freeze advisories and warnings up in the northwestern U.S. The gray in the central U.S. and down in southeast Texas is dense fog advisories, and the green around Lake Michigan and into parts of uh, eastern Iowa are flash flood watches. We're not going to have any flash flood watches down here. As a matter of fact, as the front comes through, it looks like probably spots that do get rain will get maybe a quarter of an inch or less. Storm Prediction Center has an enhanced risk for severe weather ahead of that front uh, up over parts of northern uh, Missouri, uh, northern Illinois, a little bit of southeastern Iowa, and uh, even a little bit of uh, the southern Wisconsin. That's surrounded by a slight risk and then a marginal risk that extends all the way from uh, the Texas panhandle all the way up into the Great Lakes. For day two, uh, nothing but showers or thunderstorms on, on their outlook, no slight or marginal risks. And then on day three, wow, uh, hardly any sh uh, thunderstorms forecast at all except over the Florida Peninsula. Tropics are still eh, kind of, um, eh, they're sort of in the middle. Uh, Ophelia passing south of the Azores uh, today, and we have an area of disturbed weather in uh, the area just to the northeast of the Leeward Islands. That area, while it may develop over the next five days, uh, is uh, expected to curve and recurve in, into the uh, Atlantic. All right, the 06 EGFS model run this morning. And there's our current high-pressure system over uh, the eastern U.S. at the surface. Aloft uh, by Sunday, we see a nice strong trough coming out uh, of the western states across the Great Lakes, trailing across into the lower uh, middle uh, Mississippi River Valley into the Red River Valley between Texas and Oklahoma. And a front will be along that area with the low-pressure area uh, just to the north of the Great Lakes. You can certainly identify the front on the uh, precipital water values. And uh, the thing about the precipital water values for Sunday is that they really don't get that high. Um, we're certainly not above two inches. And for the most part, northern and central Alabama remain on the order of about 1.7, maybe 1.8 or a little bit less. So uh, showers will be somewhat spotty. There's a look at an intermediate time. This is about 1 a.m. on Monday. And you see that the values surge upward to near two inches across the south part of the state. But for us uh, in the north and central part, they're somewhat limited. The trough moves by on Monday, so the front is going to be by us and through the area, so we should see clearing skies on Monday. 
Uh, we stay in a bit of a troughiness over the eastern part of the country uh, on Tuesday and again on Wednesday, kind of a convoluted pattern. And yes, there's some little short waves embedded in there, but we have high pressure at the surface. And along with that high pressure, we have a lot of dry air. So nothing except maybe some uh, mid or high clouds passing the Alabama sky at midweek. And also temperatures will be very low for Tuesday and Wednesday morning, some of the coldest we've seen so far this season, with many places getting into the 40s. By Thursday, uh, we see uh, weak ridging taking uh, place, and uh, that ridging continues into Friday. So we should warm up nicely uh, that by the end of the week, we're seeing highs uh, mainly in the upper 70s. The ridging stays in place on Saturday as the western U.S. becomes a little more active with a nice trough coming in there. And of course, at the surface on Saturday, we've got a nice high pressure area uh, centered over uh, in uh, Kentucky and West Virginia and uh, e uh, Western Pennsylvania and parts of Ohio. So some nice weather for us. Looking out into voodoo country, and uh, we can certainly see that uh, we maintain a bit of a troughiness on Tuesday, the uh, 24th, over the eastern part of the country. That enhances uh, on the 26th, so that looks like uh, some cooler weather right there. We do warm up, but not a lot on the 27th as we have very weak ridging. And then at the end of the period, we're back to the uh, overall troughiness. That'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. I'm very excited to be uh, a chili cook-off judge at Mount Chiha later this morning. So if you're in the area, come on by. Love to have you come by and say hello. I'll have the next Weather Extreme video posted here first thing on Sunday morning. Have a great day. Enjoy the warmth of the weekend. It may be the last for quite some time. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Godspeed. AC broken? Just call KS Services Heating and Air. All Bryant energy efficient systems come with a five-year labor warranty. And our fair price guarantee means that we'll always give you three quotes for every situation. Just call KS Services Heating and Air today.